Hi guys, welcome to another one of our Whitefish Wednesday videos. Uh, my name is Chris Surridge, I'm the director here at Whitefish Marketing. We're a digital marketing agency. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please drop us a line. Hello at whitefishmarketing.co.uk and hopefully we can answer them. So, today what we're going to be talking about, this is just a very, very quick, short video today. We're going to be talking about an SEO title makeup, uh, which goes, which is to say, how your SEO title should look like when inputting into um, uh, your CMS uh, pages. So there's four, uh, four core elements here which we want to talk about here. First of all, let's have a chat about the length of your SEO title. It used to be based on a certain number of um, characters, now that has changed. So it used to be 65 to 70 characters long, now that's changed into, an, into a certain set of pixels. If you're using something like Yoast, uh, as a plugin on WordPress, it'll, it'll go ahead and tell you when you've actually exceeded that um, amount. If not, try to use something called um, uh, SEO Mofo, which is another great tool. Uh, and there it has an SEO snippet optimizer, so that way you can actually snippet um, your uh, SEO title uh, phrases and your meta descriptions and see how they look before you enter them onto your website. So, with your title uh, tag, now, as I said, it used to be 70 characters, no, now no longer, it's down to pixel width there. Because something like a W, for example, is wider than the letter I, something like M is wider than the letter A, so subsequently, you know, they need to take that into account. But what do you put into your SEO title tag? First thing should be unique for the page, okay? So whatever the phrase is or whatever the sentence is that you're trying to put in there, try to keep it short, try to keep it sweet but you want it to be unique and relevant for the page. Your SEO title tag is probably the most important aspect of your SEO markup for the actual page because it's like a, a title on the, on the front of the cover of a book. It tells the audience what that page is all about. So, unique for the page, that's the first thing. The second thing, adding in your main keyword. Try to add in your, your core keyword for the page wherever possible in this particular format. If you've only got space for the unique, for, um, your unique keyword and your main keyword, then keep it as that. If you've got space, then look to put in your location, okay? Your location is great for localized SEO, so try to put in your location. And lastly, if you have got space again, put in your brand as well, right? So it's as simple as that. So we might have, um, a web page which is talking about uh, tax services. So you might want to have it call it like tax services, piping. Tax services might already be the keywords, uh, the main keywords, so we don't have to double up on that. Tax services, Folkestone, comma, Whitefish Marketing. For example, if we can if we can incorporate all those kind of things into that space, that is brilliant. But just to recap again, unique for the page, main keyword, your location tag, and your brand. And that is what goes into the SEO title makeup. Simple as that. Any other questions, just drop us a line. Um, we're always here to help. And hopefully we'll see you again on another one of our Whitefish Wednesday videos. Many thanks.